Welcome to part 6 on how to make a jug edit on Premiere Pro. Now it's time to export. So what you want to do is open up your export panel. There are two ways you can do this. So first of all, you can do it by using the built-in exporter on Premiere Pro. I was editing at 20 frames per second, but unfortunately there is no option for 20. There is no custom frame rate option either. So the solution is to export at something higher, like 24, and then get rid of those duplicate frames. If your edit has duplicate frames, it can look stiff or just ruin the overall flow, so you must get rid of them. The second way is to use a third-party plugin called After Codex, and this will let you export at any frame rate you want, so mine is 20, which is why I've set it to 20. This is usually how I export my edit, because After Codex is very fast, even though it does rely on your CPU. So if your CPU is very weak, then I don't recommend using it. But the biggest benefit is that you can export at any frame rate you want. For those of you who don't have After Codex, what you can do is just export at a higher frame rate, as I said, so H.264, uncheck this box, change the frame rate to 24. Feel free to copy my settings, but you probably know what's best for your edits since, you know, we're editing two different things. For example, the bitrate is VBR one pass. Some people prefer two pass if they want better quality. And also since I'm editing at 1440 by 1080p at 20 frames per second, the bitrate really doesn't have to be that high. I've seen a lot of editors set their bitrate to something absurdly high like 20. I don't really know what you're trying to get out of that. A target bitrate of 6 and maximum of 10 should be sufficient for me. Anyways, let's take a look at the exported edit. So this is the result and it looks fine, but there are indeed some duplicate frames. So if I go frame by frame, it's kind of difficult to show you. In fact, what I will do is create a new sequence using this example. So if I head over to new sequence from clip, the frame rate is at 24, which is what I exported it at. You'll notice that there are duplicate frames like these two, for example, the complete same. Let's look for more. These two here. This as well. So as I said before, what it's doing is adding unnecessary pauses to your edit. It ruins the flow and it doesn't look as good as it should. So to fix this, what I do is I use Shutter Encoder, which is free. It's in the description below. What I'm going to do is drag my edit into it, choose the function. So I'm going to go for H264. Then you want to open up the advanced features down here, enable the conform by and change blending to drop set the frame rate to the value that you want. So mine is 20. I'm going to hit start function and it's going to process it. It's going to create a new file with a slightly lower file size because it got rid of those duplicate frames. So if I head over to the properties details, the frame rate is now 20 frames per second. So let's take a look at how it looks. Perfect. Congratulations. You now know how to make a jug edit on Premiere Pro. The next series is going to be on how to make vibe edits, so make sure to subscribe otherwise you might miss it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.